Now let's take a look at a hip opener, a hip stretch, which is called firelock pose or double pigeon in Sanskrit Agni Stambhasana. This deep hip stretch stretches your deep glutes, groins and psoas and can relieve impinged piriformis muscles. We're looking at a couple of modifications so that everyone can start to practice uh, this intense hip stretch. Uh, with blocks, with a blanket or without, I'll show you a couple of variations right now. In order to practice double pigeon, we need to understand the difference between easy, simple cross-legged seat, which is sukhasana, and double pigeon. And for this, now I have to move Billy. <laughs> He's going to be mad, but it's okay. Good. Okay. So, <laughs> an easy cross-legged seat would be this. Down dog. <laughs> Uh, up dog, good, okay, move it along. <laughs> Simple cross-legged seat is this, and this is not double pigeon. So we need to push our legs forward in order to create an angle where we feel this stretch in the hips. So now I have a big triangle of space in front of me, and this way I can work on my outer hips. So this is already my first variation. So you always switch legs, so now my right leg is in front, and now my left leg is in front. So when you practice these, do both sides. So this would be the first modification. So easiest feet here, sliding feet away from each other makes it a little more difficult. And I'm trying to flex my feet in order to protect the knees. And this is toffee, by the way. <laughs> Somehow everyone needs to be <laughs> right here, right now. But you have to move this way. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so. First modification, easiest way of practicing double pigeon. It's okay. You would extend your back and lean forward to go into the stretch. <laughs> like this. For the second variation, you would take this foot and stack it on top of the lower leg in front of the knee. So this would be the second modification. Third one is foot up here. When working with this one, as you can see, my hips are rather tight. So with very flexible legs, this leg would be down here. And because this is not happening for me, I'm using a block, stuffing it here, to make it easier and to allow my leg to rest on the prop. Now I'm extending my back and leaning forward. Again, holding for about 30 to 60 seconds per side. Or you could use the third modification, last one, the most intense one that is not happening for me, I'm just being honest. And I don't want you to get frustrated because it's not working for you either. So very flexible folks would have this leg down here. So when your outer hips are very flexible, this knee would rest on the lower leg and you could lean forward and go into the stretch. So for me, I would have to protect my joints with blocks, maybe even a blanket and a block like this in order to make it feasible. And I would extend back and lean forward, but this is a hell of a stretch right now. So choose your modification so you can practice without frustration uh, and make these stretch, stretch stretches work for you. This is a goodbye from Billy, Toffee and me. <laughs>